So let's talk about a new approach that many people within corporate America are starting to consider, and that is to somewhat remove resumes from the hiring process and instead replace them with a test that can show what your true skill sets are, not just on paper, but also kind of like a demo. And I can speak to this, you know, from personal experience because, you know, I just turned 30 and things are starting to really come together for my career now. And kind of this is around the age where it typically does for most people. Too. However, if you don't have a resume that shows that you went to a very strong school or that you have very strong relationships, these people don't know you. So oftentimes they look past people who would be best for the job simply because the resume doesn't say that they graduated from an Ivy League university or that they have these relationships or that they had this and that internship. Oftentimes that can just be a bunch of fluff that comes from growing up in a privileged background. The specific test we're talking about today was conducted by a public health research nonprofit group based in the UK to where they took out the resumes and instead asked a group of black women to explain what artificial intelligence is and also to break down a newer technology. And of course, this is something that a resume can't necessarily directly imply. But see, one of the things I like most about this approach is that the job market is changing. The world has changed. Technology has changed. And because of that, we have to change our approach to what makes a good employee, what makes a good worker. We live in a system to where people typically don't work at the same company for 20 or 30 years like they used to. Maybe they'll work at it for five years and then transition. People have many more opportunities to you know, pursue entrepreneurial endeavors than they used to. And not only that, but people have much more opportunity to work from home than they ever have, whether it be streaming, all the social media platforms. Overall, the bottom line is, is that the job market, technology, and the world in general has changed. And because of that, we have to change our education system. We have to also change the types of jobs that we offer to people within the job market. And we have to also change the way that we hire people to fill those positions. And you know, for a lot of the more traditional fields like medicine, engineering, law, those are things to where, yeah, you really need to go through all the schooling necessary just so that the public can trust that you know what you're doing. But nowadays, there's so many skill sets that people simply don't need to go to university to learn, whether that be coding, whether that be, again, streaming, at being an influencer in a variety of ways, whether you're a lifestyle influencer, a fitness influencer, an influencer within politics. You know, people have the opportunity to read entire, listen to entire audiobooks while they're working out, while they're walking. You know, people can consume so much more information than they've ever been able to consume and put that information to good use. And so this is why I really, really like this study uh, that came out of the UK because I think we're going to see a lot more initiatives just like this because at the end of the day, corporations want to keep making money and as the job market continues to change, they're not going to be able to automate everything. I mean, you just can't. You can't automate the entire job market. And so because of that, we've got to give our workforce better opportunities and a better chance. And a lot of that is going to come through the hiring process itself.